All right, welcome back to SnowRunner, and we were going to put this truck to the test. As I remember from last episode. Um, yeah, I wonder what she's going to do. I really do. I really wonder. Because last episode we were, we were able to see that... The, or the last two episodes, actually, we were able to see that... The Trendstar was uh, not really up to the task of doing this. So I wonder what this truck is going to do. Now, given that it's not bringing the trailer this time, but yeah, the Trendstar was also struggling with the hill on its own. Which uh, this one already is a lot less struggling. And I don't know what... what what incentivizes it? It's just a turn that I'm struggling with currently. <laughs> it's not the fault of the truck. Uh, no, 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 not so fast. So, talking about the equipment, it's all in, but I need to be able to install it and get it ready and everything. And currently, this video goes out at 4 p.m. this afternoon, so it's the same day of recording versus uploading versus editing versus everything. It's currently around 11 a.m. and I have to leave around 2 to go to work. So. Yeah, I'm a bit strapped for time to install everything and get everything ready. Why do you hit that? Why did you hit that? Don't hit that. I know you like hitting things, but don't. Please. So, this part went fairly... Fairly problemless. What about this? I know the thing is going to be a bit tight. The bend is going to be a bit tight around here. But this one has the added benefit that it doesn't have a long nose. So it's going to be able to get through it relatively easily. All right, well that one really easy, easily. I did not expect that. Um, it does keep like to keep hitting the engine though, and I'm not a big fan of that. But as it stands, so far, she's stuck. All right. Uh, let's get a move on back onto solid ground. And try again, I would say. Well, this is going to be a problem. She's able to come so far, but... Yet gets stuck over there. Are we able to do it, to cheat it a little bit? We are. So we're getting across. <laughs> um, yeah, I did not expect it to do this well. Um, it just doesn't give it in. It's like, okay, I'm a highway truck, so what? It's basically just like Ariana Grande's new single, Yes And. But you're a highway truck. Yes, and you don't have all-wheel drive or diff lock. Yes, 
and your issue being But your engine, it's... You don't have a big nose to tuck your engine in. Yes. And... You know, that kind of stuff. I really... Appreciate this truck. I really do. But... This seems to be the end of it. Seems to be, because we're not there yet. Come on, pull. Pull, you bastard! Almost there. Almost there. We have moved again. Now we're able to hit hitch onto the tree. And move in a direction that faces our nose. That our nose faces, sorry. So she's not a beach crawler, so and I kind of expected that already. I did make the big mistake of going into the beach far. The beach far F going far into the beach. Jesus. What's my issue? Fucking, that's my issue. Alright, I'm going through the trees here like I did with the white western star. And this one doesn't have a nose, so she should be. It should be a lot easier for this truck. And look at that! Without any big struggles, sorry about the yard. This truck got here unscathed. Unscathed. Eh. Okay, the engine got a couple of hits. You know what I mean. Catch the trailer. It just lets go. Let's continue to Island Lake. I even forgot to check if this one can have the new gearbox but does it need it no it doesn't here we go the path is so destroyed that it's better to just stay off of it overrun path is too overrun but Jesus uh, a highway truck out beating oh no oh no 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 you're not going to do this to me you are not going to do this to me nope she says I'm not all right I'll listen Let's go. Hey, okay. that went quick and well. Seeing as I took a whole episode to get here, even if I just took this one, and it would have been the whole episode to go up to Island Lake, I guess. I hope. No, 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 no. No, this is mud. No. 
That's nasty. But that's also nasty. Take something less nasty. Something less nasty. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pull. We can get through this. You've done so much already. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Now this is the kind of ground I'd like to drive on. And yes, I know you can hear the trees fall down behind me. Or around me. Hmm. Is it worth it to go this way instead of this way? Is this path, it looks murky. I'm just going to risk it. If you don't risk it, there's no biscuit. Like I said, no sacrifice, no victory. And this truck is victorious AF. Let's cross and this bad stuff. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. And let's go. Just cruising it. I don't know. This truck really deserves its praise. Somehow. I mean, it's doing what a lot of trucks can, or not at this stage at least. Um, let's see where to go, where to go, where to go. I think it's best if I move over to this side now, again. You, should, you gotta help her a little bit, and I was helping the other two as well. Or at least the Trendstar I was helping. Didn't so much help the, the White Western Star, but... We got everything done anyway. Um, that's a whole load of water. And that's a steep hill. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna need your help. Three. Come on. Help me out here. She was a highway truck. Come on. Oh. Um, if I put this one onto the tree. No, I said if I put this one onto the tree, then pull. Help myself a little bit. <laughs> then we can see that this truck is perfectly capable of reaching that GMC. So we can come back here with a maintenance van add-on. Um, 
I think I will risk it to go through there. No, not the rain. Not the rain. It's already hard enough for it as it is. See? Come on, man. Come on, game. Don't make me do it like this. Here we go. Into the water, hoping that we can get through. We can get through anyway, because of the winch, but... Jesus. She's in deep. Well, could use a bit of wash, I mean, being honest. Uh, this one. Come on, let's go, keep moving. Keep it up. Also struggling to get the bumper through the ground. Um, what's next? This one. And hook on. The winch needs a little bit of distance, otherwise it will lose its strength. Which is... Annoying at worst. At its worst. But it's not terrible. No. Don't... Oh, that's not gonna work. Um, what else can we do? What else can we do? Can we... We can do that. Only going to make it worse if we do that. Alright. Um... It's you. Cannot. This one was better. Will happen if I keep pulling. Yoink. Um. Maybe put you there. Well, we are sort of pulling ourselves out.
Connect. I mean, it's easier to pull out a trailer than to, than to pull out a truck. No. Oh well. Wait. God dang it. All right, um... Let's do this. Uh, attach trailer. Pull you out, and then that one took the truck. Hello, it's got the truck, and Hello? Let's run over and... Um, activate ramp, stop the engine, and brake. Scout 800. All wheel drive. Let's get back onto the trailer. The engine, change truck. Back. Uh, start the engine. Activate ram. And let's attempt to continue. There we go. Just pull her around the <laughs> around the water instead of into, and everything will be fine. You nearly used a full tank of gas, but that's con that's tarmac over there. So I think we made it. We made it. To Island Lake. That's Island Lake right here. Welcome to Island Lake. Uh, oh, I was about to say, why is this map so small? But it's not. It is far from small. Mm. Alright, the first one is... That away. Is it doable for this truck? So it seems like it is. Yeah, it, it's... It's not too bad, actually. I have to say. Well, what's your task? Hunter Bob's Bridge. Alright. That's a bridge. It's going to make our life a lot easier, I think. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to park my Grand Star right here on what seems to be solid. It looks to be solid, so. And then activate the ramp, unpack, and stop the engine. <clears throat> I will take the scout and go explore for the watchtower. Let me see, the watchtower is just following this road so far, right? Is it capable of doing it in two-wheel drive? It is. Alright. Well, that saves a lot of gas. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not going to be able to do that. Right there. Um, I'll go straight and then come back. I mean, it's not a water crawler though, is it? Made it into a rock crawler, not a water crawler. snorkel I want, it's not yet available to us. Far um, one. Don't want to keep hitching and hitching and hitching and hitching. I prefer just to keep going. Like this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah. This is, looks like some sort of factory. Maybe eventually we will be able to get something out of it. Now, where was that watchtower? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> That's orientation. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, come on. Pull myself into that square. There we go. That's the first watchtower in Island Lake. Hold it. Pull myself through. Let's pull myself out. And I mean, the ground here seems sort of solid. Around here, I mean, yeah. It seems sort of solid. It's, it's not always, but it seems sort of solid. And this here is trailer store and a scout fuel carrier. Am I going to take it with me? Hmm. I mean, is it worth it? Not really, right? I mean, I got my fuel supplies on the roof. And if those run out, I got fuel supplies over here on the Transtar.
But it does look like quite a doable. I think that's the bridge. Those are the those are two bridges. Hmm. I think those are the bridges he was talking about, the Hunter Bob's bridge. Um Yeah, we're going to have to find another way then. That will be for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and do like, subscribe and all the good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.